Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna convert our game into an online game and we will start exchanging data between other players. So let's do that. Let's first explain how will that work. So first the host of the lobby will start the game as a host from the network manager and then after we have other clients they will try to connect to that host. But how do they know which host should they connect to? If we had let's say five hosts with one two three four and five steam ids how do we know to which host do we connect to so this is where the face punch transport comes in so in the face punch transport we has a field that's name target steam id we set that target steam id to the host that we want to connect to so for example if we want to connect to the host of uh, steam id of three we set that field to three and then from the network manager we start our client and this will connect that client to the host of our lobby and therefore the game will be connected and we will start exchanging data between the right host so let's move into implementing that in our game so let's go into the main menu scene and let's go to the steam manager and enter our script and first let's go to lobby created so when we create a lobby we need to start our game as a host and that is very simple we need to say network manager dot singleton dot start host and this way we started our game as a host now the next thing we need to do is starting all of our clients as client in our lobby so we go to lobby entered and we say network manager dot singleton dot start client but before we start the client we need to give the first punch transport our configuration which is the target steam id which will be equal to the lobby host owner so let's say network manager dot singleton dot game object dot get component and let's get the face punch transport and we set the target steam id to lobby.owner.id very simple and we only need to do that for our uh, client so if we are the host let's return so if network manager dot singleton dot is host so if we are the host let's return we don't need to do this for our host uh the only one thing after i need to do is when we leave the lobby we need to stop our client and host at the same time for all of our people in the lobby and we will also leave the lobby so we can do that by saying network manager dot singleton dot shut down and that's very simple let's go to our game and let's go to the setup scene make sure steam is opened and let's start our game and here we go the scene loaded let's start our host and let's make sure and here we go it's saying stop which mean we started our host successfully amazing so the next thing we need to do is giving the host the ability to start our game for all the clients only the host so let's do that that should be very easy so let's enter the script again and let's create a method let's call it start game server And here what we need to do is network manager dot singleton dot scene manager dot load scene and here we give it the name of the scene and after we give it load scene mode dot single and we only need to allow only the host to start our game and we can do that by saying if network manager dot singleton dot is host so if we are the host start the game for all the clients so let's uh, give our button that method and it should be here let's give it uh, and give it start game server awesome so let's give it a quick try and here we go if we start our host we joined if we enter the game okay i forgot to add the scene so let's create our scene 
gameplay and it's right here so let's give it another try so here let's say start host and enter game and here we go it loaded our scene 